Welcome everybody, it is Andrew here from IGB with one of the most unique and polarizing keyboards that I've seen in some time. That would be the Dot keyboard from Lofree, which at the time of this review just launched on Indiegogo. There is a lot to love about this keyboard and there's a lot of unique facets that you don't see in many other keyboards. So first up is going to be the design, which is going to be very polarizing for two different reasons. One is the bright colors and two, the mechanical keyboard design. There are plenty of people out there who do not like mechanical keyboards and instead prefer the really thin chiclet style that you would see on an Apple keyboard or a MacBook or any of the Logitech ones out there. Traditionally, mechanical keyboards have more or less been made for gamers, so Windows support first. But you'll notice here, even on this side, there is a Windows support mode, but primarily it is on Mac and iOS by default. There's obviously the power toggle and a charging port there on the side. On the bottom are some pads. This is at a six degree angle, which is a really nice, comfortable angle for typing. As mentioned, this does support Mac first and foremost. That's why you're going to see things like the Option, Alt, and Command keys to the left and right of the spacebar. But fret not, even on the bottom of the keys, you can see the alternative support for stuff like Windows. So it's common knowledge that the Command key is synonymous with the Windows key. Now what's going to be really important here is really how it types. And that's a big deal here, and definitely a little bit of an odd keyboard, and it took me a few days to get used to. They do use round keys, instead of kind of traditional shaped keys, to kind of make it more replicate a typewriter, which I found really neat, and it did take me a couple days to get used to, but once I did, I was working on this very smoothly, but I am a fan of mechanical keyboards. They were very tactile, and I appreciated even all the function and control keys on the top of the keyboard that some third-party ones don't include. So let's go ahead and break it down between the pros and the cons for the Lofree dot keyboard. First up on the pros, it has really great vivid colors, super tactile keys, Mac first, but including Windows support. It is Bluetooth, which is rare for a mechanical keyboard. It is backlit with three different levels, and you can actually connect up to three different dice devices and jump between them. If we jump over to the con side of things, it is again those colors. Some people are not necessarily going to like the super bright colors. There's also mechanical keys, which some people may not like mechanical keyboards, and it is starting off as a crowdfunding campaign, though it already is in production and will be shipping within a month. If you'd like to pick one up, you can get it really early for $74, otherwise around $80 on Indiegogo before it retails for $99. If you have any questions on the Lofree Dot keyboard, go ahead and let us know down in the comments below, as well as let me know what you think of this kind of retro design. It's definitely something that I kind of dig. Otherwise, go ahead and subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, Till next time, this is Andrew for IDB.